I'm Dick Niffing. This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with weather. Overall, we've got a big time cold front on the way here, so that is going to start to dip our temperatures and crank up our winds for tomorrow. So look for the increasing winds northeast to southwest throughout the day tomorrow in the metro. Could end up with wind gusts around 50 miles an hour during tomorrow afternoon and even tomorrow during the overnight hours into Friday. Cooler air slides in during the day on Friday out there. Most areas in the 70s and 80s for highs. And then as we head toward the week, Weekend. We'll go partly sunny, slight chance of a shower out there, but more than anything else, a nice holiday weekend. The son of a murdered Albuquerque school teacher may soon be out of jail and on his way across the country. Brian Roth, who was accused of stealing his mother Ellen's credit card before her death last year, had his bond reduced on Wednesday to $15,000. That means he can actually post $1,500 to get out. If he does, he will be turned over to his father's custody in Little Rock, Arkansas, while the state appeals the exclusion of critical statements in his case. A judge recently tossed Roth's confession, saying that police misled him to get it. Now, Ellen Roth's statement is also out because obviously she cannot be cross-examined. Brian Roth is not charged with his mother's murder. Police think his wife and two of her friends killed her for turning him in. Central New Mexico Community College is feeling a serious crunch this fall. A record 29,000 students are enrolled this semester. That's about 2,000 more than last fall. The economy is the big reason. CNM's tuition is lower than many colleges, and a lot of people who have lost their jobs are going back to school. Some classes are full, but CNM insists it is not turning people away. We will be offering light start classes that start in a couple of weeks and create an opportunity for students to be able to take classes that may not be available to, the, to them right now because they're full. Another 300 students enrolled for fall classes at CNM today. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.